The years 1938 and 1939 were an eventful time for Sodor. Beginning with a visit from a very special engine and a certain stout gentleman, this would be followed by a rather eventful inspection from the railway board. Said inspection was intended to remove one of the island's rail companies, a goal that quickly changed after the Middies and Nor'easters were forced to work together in response to a rash of thefts motivated by a desire to help a friend. We were also troubled by a runaway boulder, a series of strikes, and the haunting of a certain spiteful spectre. A number of sabotages perpetrated by a former employee also hit Sodor, as well as an unfortunate smuggling incident that put one of us in the crosshairs of the law. But it wasn't all doom and gloom. I would recount to my friends the story of my life before coming to Sodor, and Reneus would demonstrate his gallantry by saving his passengers despite acute maintenance issues. Unfortunately, a lapse in judgment on the part of several engines and a certain bus would land them in prison, and the worsening situation in Europe saw an influx of weapons onto the island, as well as the construction of a military base near Vickerstown. This project would not only reveal a surprising detail about James's past, it would also bring together two engines in a very affectionate way, before concluding with a wondrous parade. Of course, there are many more details to the aforementioned subjects, and over the coming months, you'll hear all about them. My name is Edward, and these are the stories of Solor.